Hi friends, please subscribe to my channel for more technology, SQL and MSBI videos. In this video, let's talk about how to copy data from one SQL server to another SQL server. So as a part of the prerequisite, I need two SQL servers. Let me show you what are all the prerequisites required to see to do this example. I need two SQL servers first server so here i created an environment for us to do the example so here i have two sql instances in my computer so those two sql instances are going to work as a two different servers so here my first server is name of the first server is computer name computer name or i can call it as a dot or i can call it as a localhost so this is my first server and the database name in the first server is class and the table in the first server is employee so this is my first server details so let me talk about a second server details as i told you here i have a two separate instances on the same computer but those two instances are going to work as a two different servers in the real time now let me talk about a second server. So name of the second server or name of the second instance is computer name, name slash SQL 2012 R dot slash SQL 2012 R localhost slash sql 2012 this is my second server name and db name in the second server is i am going to take a different uh, db name training next table name is same table employee so these is these are my first server details and the second server details here i need to move the data from first server so localhost from localhost or dot or computer name from a database class and the table data is employee so this employee table data i need to move from the local host to second server as localhost dot sql 2012 and database name is training here i have server name is different and um, the database name is also different and my table name is employee i need to move data from db class employee table to training employee table so now let me show you how to move it so here there are two ways to move the data from uh, one database one server to another server first one is import export wizards import export wizards or the second way is you can use ssis okay so here i will show you import export wizards so for ssis uh, uh, process so let's see the uh, video in my video collection so now let me show you how to move the data from one server to another server by using import export wizards. First, let me show you uh, physically in my SQL instance. Let me go to the SQL Server Management Studio where I have a uh, server. This is my first server uh, dot. Under that, I have a class database. Under that, I have a employee table. This is my employee table. So this is my server one. Let me go to the server two. So if you go to the server two, this is dot slash SQL 2012. Under that, I have a training database. Under that, I have a employee table. Let me refresh it. I have a employee table. So if you see the data, so this is my server one. So this is a query which gives us the data from a server one. Let me run this. Yeah, this is my server one. So which are of having 18 records. Let's not talk about the data in detail now. So this is the data which is there in my server one. Let me go to the server two. So here, when I run the server two, I don't have any data this is empty table now i need to move the data from server 1 data to the server 2 table so this is what we are going to see now how to do this let's go to the server 1 database so right click on the server 1 database class click go to click on the task under that go to export so the process is going to be same either import or export but while select when you click on import when you click on import you may need to select the different stuff 
but when you click on export you may need to select some different stuff based on the import or export behavior so here i am going to select the export let me select the export so once you select the export so you will be getting this window so this window is the one so which will help us to do that process so let me click on next this is the information window so once i click on next so by default it shows you the by default it shows you the source information so here my server name is dot and my i am going to use the windows authentication and my database name is class because i right clicked on the class that's the reason why by default it came as a class so this is my source information so but in the source information i am not going to specify the table name so in the next level we'll specify that next so once i click on the next here so this is a place where i need to provide the destination information so here my destination is also a sql server that is fine if your destination is different other than sql server then you need to select the relevant one okay so let's select that sql server native client 11 and provide the destination server name or second server name my second server name is dot slash sql 2012 and so here i am going to use index authentication and if you have a sql authentication let's click on it and provide the username and password but for my scenario i am going to with a windows authentication and my database name is training i can right click here I, I can refresh it so by default it will give you all the database which are there in the particular server so i can directly type training so this is my destination server database name my server name is dot slot dot um, slash equal 2012 my database name is training let's click on next so once you click on next so here this is a place where you need to specify the option either do you want to copy directly data from one table to another table or you want to write any customized query once you select this so you need to write the query so you, i don't want to go with a, a specific query i want to go with a table one directly let's click on copy select the first option if you want to go entire table load if you want to go with some customizer logic let's select this option let's click on the copy one let's click on next and so this is a place where you need to select the table name from source and table name in the destination so here the left side is a source one and right side is the destination one let's select the table name which you are planning to load i am going to select the data from employee table so once you select the employee table so by default a right side destination table also comes because the table name is same in both the servers if the table name is different then you need to select manually in the destination side if you see here so these are the list of source tables and this is the destination so this is how we configure source table name and the destination table name next so if you have a same column names in between source tables and destination tables then nothing to worry so if you have a different columns you need to configure by clicking on the edit mappings if you see in the down there is a button edit mappings let's click on edit mappings so once you click on edit mappings this is the place where you can see the list of column names in the source and list of column names in the destination and their data types so here so id employee is mapped to id employee first name is mapped to first name because the same names in the source and destination by default automatically maps so one quick thing we need to modify here is so in my table id employee is the identity key id employee is the identity key if it is identity key it does not take any value from the insert query so that time i should not insert id employee value so that is the reason why i am going to keep it as ignored i am going to keep it as ignored so otherwise so my this window is going to be failed so that is the reason why i am going to keep it as a ignored because id employee is the identity key column let's click on okay so once you click on once you are done with the mapping so let's click on next so once you click on next so you will see a, a window where you can save this as a package so means whatever the process we have done we can save that as a package if you want to do if you want to save that as a package just click on this you don't need to develop the package by using sql server data tools still you can develop the package by using import and export wizards as well so i don't want to save that so i want to go with the next once you click on next so this is a kind of summary it is going to tell you what is the source so what is the destination and what are the providers sql server native client 11 sql server native client 11 and copy rows from employee to employee so the new rows uh, will be appended to the existing table 
so the package will not be saved the package will run immediately this is a kind of summary what we have done till now so once you are done with that once you are fine with this you can click on finish if you want to do any change in the settings you can click on back let me click on finish so once i click on finish so based on the size of the data based on the size of the data so it is going to take the time so i have only 18 rows if the 18 rows are very less so it may not take more than a, a minute so that's the reason why it is finished very quickly so if you have around like a million rows it may take a while it may take based on the server configuration so once you are done with this so you can close this or if you want to see the report you can see that click on the report let me close this and let me go to the destination table so once i click on destination table so here i can see all the 18 rows which are moved from my source if you see this is my second server let me go to the first server see these are all the 18 rows you can you can validate even uh, row to row because there is no condition like we it is a kind of blind move from blind copy from the so server one to server two that is the reason why there, there will be no change and there will be no loss in the data as well so that is how we move the data from one server to another server so by using import and export wizards so there is a way also as i told so there is another way to move data from one server to another server by using ssis or etl for this etl so if you want to learn about how to move the data from one server to another server by using ssir ssis or etl so please check in my video collection so there is a video which talks about uh, moving data from one server to another server by using ssis that's it thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel for more technology videos